All right, what you see here represents $160 in spending by me. Not a lot of, of big looking stuff for the amount of money that I'm laying out. But everything I got was good. Some of it is for uh, friends. I'm not going to say family. It's just for friends. Friends and family. No, just friends. Um, what should I start with? You know what? I didn't get any video games today. Even though I did see... I went to... Like I said, I went to two sales. Uh, they did have an Xbox with about 8 to 10 BS games. Priced at $50. Way out of uh, anybody's league if they're looking to resell it. Just not worth it. And, of course, it would not be guaranteed to wear. I did see some really cool stuff today that I wanted to buy. Um, but... I'm more about like uh, saving the cash for the real good uh, deals this weekend as I do have a lot of bills that need to be paid. Anyway, uh, let me just get started. Uh, here's what I, you know, I'll start with the jewelry and I'll go through the other stuff. And then I have something Nas you're going to want to hang out for because I think you'll want it. And we'll do some kind of trade. We'll figure it out. Jewelry. This is the best thing I got today. Um, it's a sterling silver, and in the center there's 14 karat uh, gold. It's, mar it's a bracelet, Noah's Ark, and it's made by uh, a designer named Ardian or Company. I don't know which. That's that's uh, the best thing I got today. This is a, uh, I, man, I knew the name a second ago. It's a uh, Graziano, and it's just a hoop, uh, multi-tangle. It looks like one, two, three, four, five. Uh, gold tone necklace kind of nice my wife likes this kind of stuff um i think these are sterling they're just little earrings this is the kind of stuff my wife would say for eight to ten you know maybe we should just start putting that stuff online in lots i guess these are sterling uh yeah because they're marcasite they're probably marked 925 um you know i don't think this is gold but the shanks are gold so maybe what they did because look, look over here right you can see the corrosion there but it looks like for some reason maybe they re because that says 14k on that for some reason they replaced the, sh the shanks on this earring maybe the, the person who had it had an allergy uh to regular whatever earring posts are made of and they switched to gold to combat that allergy and then had to deal with it um this is like one of them evil eye bracelets i don't know if my wife bought this because she liked it oh okay it says Okay, it's silver. You know, it's just a dainty little bracelet. Uh, I, and I think that's the evil eye. This is also, uh, we believe this is sterling. There's some kind of small horn mark, mark um, over there. Got to loop it. Got to take a good look. I was not able to. Uh, if it's not sterling, whatever. It's still kind of... Um, what we paid for all this jewelry together was $55. <clears throat> and obviously we paid the most for that. Everything else was much cheaper. I don't know the actual prices of anything. Um... This is just a neat bottle opener. It's called the Bug. They charge us $5 for this. And this was at the second sale. They had some really cool stuff there. They had like this, um, I forget her name, but she's like a, a metal designer. Uh, uh, she does sculpture and metal and uh, I, whatever. Uh, I showed her the sculpture and she went 100 on it, but apparently the, her work only sells from the normal sale of her sculptures are in a $50 range. So I said, look. I'm going to make a, an offer, and I know you're going to say no, <laughs> but just keep it down. If nobody buys it, that's what I'm willing to pay when the sale is over. So she was like, what? I said, 100. And she's like, oh, no. Uh, no, I'm sorry. I said, 40. <laughs> why, why would I offer 100? She told me 100. I said, 40. And she's like, no. I said, no, no, I know you're going to say no. If it doesn't sell, she says, hey, call me tomorrow. We'll see what happens, right? But I'm not going to call. I, I, don't, I don't. It's like, I, I'm not going to be there. I'm not going to be around there. It's just, I don't care. If, if she didn't say yes right there, then and there. Uh, and she also had some really cool lamps. But she wanted 100 for those. And I should have popped on those. But I'm saving my money for the real bargains, you know. It's like, I don't have a ton of money this weekend. And I, I want to buy stuff that's going to make me more money. Rather than stuff that I like. That I think is cool. That will probably be hard to sell. <laughs> and in the long run, I'll be looking at a shelf and go. But no, I would never regret buying some of the stuff that I like. But it would be like, uh, should have bought something. All right. Uh, you know what, Naz? I'm not going to keep you in, in suspense any longer. Check this out. Now, they had 20 on it, and I told them, I said, look. I, I, I said, look. And I, I put on a set. No, I said, this is for my friend. Um, normally, I wouldn't buy this up. But I have a friend. I, he really loves the Power Rangers, right? And uh, they had 20 on it. So I said, what's the best you could do? I know this person. They're like 15. I'm like, fine. Because actually, I did check. There's a code. 
on its 0411990113378. You can check it on Amazon. I think these started 40, and I don't know if they're new or whatever on 40, but they started 40. Um, now, as you got first dibs at this, and basically I paid 15. Uh, you want them? We'll trade. We'll figure something out. I'll just put it on the pile uh, for you. I did try. Oh, by the way, I did try and call you. Pick up your phone. You know I, what? I got to text everybody. You know I needed a quick answer. I don't want to like. Uh, anyway, <clears throat> continue on. And then I'll show the CDs in the end. Got this kind of nice Toby picture. You know these things used to be worth a lot of money, <laughs> and I st it's still worth like maybe twenty five to fifty. I bought this out of sale. Everything I, w I wanted. To that's that's the first sale. This thing I had junk. I'm to double check it, and you wanted like fair prices, but it wasn't anything good. It's like weird stuff again. Stuff I can't say. This designer, um, that uh, I don't know, artist, that that manufacturer. I can't say so. It's, it's something I gotta go put out there and go like uh, bronze food dog, uh, vin vintage. Blah, blah, blah. Who knows? Who cares? They don't search for stuff like that. Everybody's looking for names and designers and whatever. Anyway, uh, Lord Mayor M S. Paid five bucks. I will probably put that in my showcase. Don't see anything wrong with it. Just some heavy crazy. Because uh, I don't care if it's worth if it's worth if it's worth seventy, then I'll put it on eBay. But it's not going to be worth seventy. It's probably going to be worth twenty five to fifty. And if it's worth twenty five to fifty, I'll put it on e uh, I'll put it in my showcase for twenty bucks. Um, you know what? I'm going to start experimenting with hats. So what I did was the, at this sale, all the hats they said were two dollars. So I bought anything that looked really clean and new that was unusual figuring at two dollars hats seem to sell in the twelve to twenty dollar range and like I said I'm going to experiment on this is um, I may do it myself I don't know uh, but I, I may wind up giving them to you Daryl it depends how much stuff I have how much I need to give you you know I already have two boxes for you but whatever let me get it past that so I bought the Sydney 2000 it's an Olympic hat and it's from the Sydney 2000 Olympics. Original price was 30 bucks. So then I bought this uh, hat with a P. I guess it's like the Phillies. Okay, uh, the Philadelphia P's. I don't know. Uh, the Pittsburgh Phil. I, I don't know baseball. I don't know sports. But it looks legit, and uh, it's nice and clean on the inside. So. You know, I probably should. It's a size medium, whatever. You know, if if these are worth like ten to twelve dollars or fifteen dollars, I'll probably give them to you, Daryl. You know, because I just I can't do anything. And then I bought the Staten Island Yankees. I have no clue what that's about. Um, Shumsky cap. But again, I want to experiment into different things. And these aren't heavy, aren't hard to ship. All you got to do is put. I have boxes eight by eight. These would ship for under thirteen ounces. You know, I just put them in a, pla a sandwich bag maybe throw a piece of paper I don't even know you know who cares and then I have this NBA cares I have no clue what that is about I don't know what NBA NBA cares about I guess that stands for the National Basketball <laughs> Association yeah because NBC is TV so it's the national apparently they care about something I don't know what they care about all right moving on um, these are the CDs I got Daryl you getting this one uh, it says Sally Ta Taylor Shotgun, and what is written um, on this, and this is generic. This is way better than if it was written to Steve, or to Lou, or to Fabio, or to, I don't know, uh, I I Igor. Igor. <laughs> but just, I couldn't think of a really random and goofy name. Horatio, you know. Um, Sally Taylor, it says, to the guy with the awesome tattoo. That could be anybody. Tons of people have tattoos, so this is way more generic. And I'm assuming it says Sally Taylor on the inside and then this is weird um it looks like carly sim no clue maybe that's uh someone and, and you know i don't think it's it's simon but whatever there you get that one i know you like to autograph then i got some more cds rolling stones these are a buck a piece oh everything totaled to 115 at the sale and they gave it to me for a hundred and then i threw in another five for that so that's uh what did i say i spent a hundred how did i spend 160 you know what? I only paid 115 for everything. Wow, that's good. <laughs> Wait a minute. Let me do it again. I paid 115, <laughs> and then she said you could have everything for 100, and that's the only other thing I bought there. So that was five bucks. So I paid 105 because I bought this. Yeah, I'm wrong. I only paid 110 for everything. Wow, I, I just automatically saved myself 50 bucks by not being very good at math. Anyway, any money. 
uh, Jimmy Buffett. This is all random crap that does not go on eBay, does not go on Amazon. Born on the U.S., born in the USA. Um, Bruce Springsteen, of course. Squeeze cool for cats. I might keep that and put it on my thing and then sell it. Billy Joel, Glass Houses, Steely Dan, can't whatever a thrill. Billy Joel, Stormfront, Billy Joel, Piano Man. I'm in Jersey. Everybody loves Billy Joel. He's performing at the Madison all the time. He's a Jersey boy. He's like the Sinatra of the 80s, I guess. Uh, you know, the Sinatra was born in Jersey, so he was from the 50s and 60s. And then, and then we have Billy Joel. And I think in the 90s, we got, uh, he has a lot of long hair, but he's older now. Give me a second. Uh, forget it. I'll, I'll think of it later. Run DMC, John Fogarty, Steve Miller Band, James Teller, Peter Gabriel, Best of You 40, Genesis, Decade of Steely Dan. I buy those and they sell sporadically. Best of Elvis Costello, who I like. Uh, Spice Girls, you know what? There's got to be some Spice Girls out of that. I figured, ah, for a buck, I'll give it a shot. Billy Idol. Um, man, I still can't think of who that is, but he has long hair. What's his song? He redid Desperado. He's a... Uh, Rolling Stones, Live Licks. Oh, there he is, Bon Jovi. God damn it, why can't I remember Bon Jovi? Okay, Fleetwood Mac, Joe Jackson, Four Tops Greatest Hits, John Barleycorn Must... Oh, Traffic. I was like, what? Blood, Sweat, and Tears, Steve Winwood, Earth, Wind, and Fire. Hey, if anybody wants to give me CDs or trade me CDs, this is the kind of stuff I like. I don't like, like, weird things I never heard of, all right? Just for those people who want to trade CDs for whatever things I have. Cosby Stills and Ash. Best to Joe Cocker. Joe Jackson. I am the man. Bruce Springsteen again. And Fine Young Cannibals. If you don't know this band, they were really... Um, their day was in the 80s. A lot of good music there. That's everything I got today. Quick shout-outs to all my friends. Um, Bargain Barons. If you want to check out their channel, uh, check that little stupid iCard that's going to be like in the corner of the video. It's, it's over here. You press on it and then like some stuff comes down. And then you click on that and it takes you where I want you to go. Um, their link will be there. Bargain Barons. Uh, check out Nostalgic. Check out Video Gamer Daryl. Check out my friend uh, ASAP Zonk. And that's AJ. Uh, oh, also AJ's having a yard sale. Today it's probably too late. You know, maybe you can get there if I post this quick enough. But he's also having a yard sale tomorrow, all right? Um, and he's, he's trying to get me to go over there. I'm like, AJ, I know you. Just send me some pictures. You know, I don't have to go to your house. You send me a picture. I go like, oh, yeah, I would like to buy that, AJ. Put it to the side. You know, I got to go drive all the way over to uh, Lodi. No, thank you. Anyway, I might come, AJ. I don't know. It depends on what I'm doing tomorrow, but I, I think I'm pretty busy. Anyway, um, Sunday, I'm going to a street fair. It's nowhere near all you people who know me. Um, so don't even bother coming to visit me unless you live in uh, Sterling, Sterling, New Jersey. You're going to have a, a street fair. I'll be selling my things, my wares. Um, maybe, no, nah, I won't take those hats. Those are too generic. Uh, oh, yeah, you know what? Also, I, I got to give a shout out to my own a new channel, which I'm a part of. It's a channel where um, multiple uh, YouTubers can contribute to. And post their own things. It's called the Scummy Resellers. Check us and them out. Check me and them out. And uh, I don't know. That's it. Did I show this thing? This is pretty cool. This is... Okay, if I didn't show this, this is called The Bug. It's a bottle opener. Sometimes these offbeat bottle openers can sell for a lot of money. We paid five bucks for it. Uh, I think I did all my shout-outs. Oh, you know what? Uh, who else? Okay, I can't remember any, any more names right now. <sighs> Nope, not even if I waited that extra second. All right, I'm out of here. I am not showing any video of me roaming around yard sales at the end of this video. This is going to be a shorter video, so I can just post it quickly. Check out the Scummy Resellers if you want to see things that I looked at, I didn't buy, and you can say, like, you idiot, you should have bought that. Um, but I did do good. One thing I bought today will way more than pay than, than, than everything else I bought, and that's what it's all about. <laughs> all right, everybody, thank you. And if possible, come check me out this weekend at Sterling. If not, hey, I understand you have a life. Goodbye.